So what is your personal favourite record? Um, <laughs> just wait to a customer there. <laughs> um, well, phew. I definitely have seen a change in the popularity of records. I am part of that change. Like I'm part of the younger generation that's discovering this way of listening to music. When I was younger and I would mention vinyl to my classmates, I was like the weird kid that was into like old, outdated media. But now I go out with my friends to record stores and experience bonding through them. Me and my friends got into vinyls. Going into vinyl shops, you know, you see more people there and I think it's really positive. Lots of people have record players now. It's not something that's like retro and vintage. It's like a common thing to have, I guess, now. Obviously, when I was at school, my first started of working, it was just vinyl. Then CDs came in, totally took over, and we all thought that was the end of vinyl. And when streaming came in, we obviously thought that was probably the only way people were going to listen to music. About 12, 14 years ago, there's sudden interest, which built and built. The majority of my friendship group at least own some form of vinyl. New, young, enthusiastic record collectors, which is great, and that's what I like to see. They've probably gone from streaming to buying vinyl as well. Perfect. What's special about vinyl is that you can experience whatever album that you want to listen to physically. There must be something about them that makes them endure for so long. It's really special to have an album that you feel really connected to and love as something you own and you can share and pass down. It's somebody's piece of art really. You're streaming, you own nothing, but you buy that record, you've got it for life. I think the album cover is really important to have a physical kind of rendition of that. And with a cover you may get the poster, you may get with the words to the songs. I think the fact you can physically hold it in your hands, take it home and play it is really special. Albums are experiences rather than just like singular songs that you put in a playlist. It's quite painstaking the way they put the tracks into order. Lyrically and musically how it's supposed to be listened to. My favourite record, that, that's a hard question. Donuts by Jay Diller. Enter the Wu-Tang Clan. Kimono My House by Sparks. Frank by Amy Winehouse. Everything starts with the Beatles and everything ends with the Beatles and everybody else comes in between somewhere. That's how I see it. I think somebody I feel connected to because of records is my dad. He is the reason that I have the music taste that I have. Definitely my mum. She gave me my first record. My best friend, he took me to a record shop and we've been collecting vinyls together for years. My mum really likes R&B. My dad really likes jazz and my auntie as well. She introduced me to Erica Fadu and all those sorts of artists through vinyl. It brings people together, it brings friends together and is a common interest for so many people. The future with vinyl depends on the younger generation really now. We need to share that kind of experience because it's, it's powerful. Even if it dwindles out sometimes, it will always come back because well, I'm proof of that. It gives you a lot more than just streaming a song. That just goes into the, into the air somewhere, doesn't it? But when you've got a record, is there part of your life, without a doubt. Collecting records has been my world race, still is, I suppose. <laughs>